So we've taken a look at uh, basic camera gear and bits and pieces. So this, these tutorials are about light painting. So obviously we need to have a look at some light painting gear. We touched earlier on that there's three basic types of light painting. There's moving an object through the scene. So that might be, uh, I've got a drink bottle here. I'll tell you why in a second. So here's a, uh, you know, here's a light painting tool that we move through the scene. Um, and there's a whole lot of different versions of that. So this is a light flute. You're gonna get to know those really well. Um, here's a really basic, uh, here's a, here's a basic, you know, a basic with air quotes blade. So this one here is uh, yellow or orange. So that's going to create an orange shape uh, in our light painting. Um, this one here is a, a green one. So this is going to create a green shape. I want you to think about every single light painting tool uh, as if it is a brush. Uh, my mate Jason Page at Light Painting Brushes would like to hear me saying that. But basically, light painting tools are just like a brush. They all have a color. This one's green. They all have a texture. This one is kind of rounded. This one here is very sharp. So they all have a different texture and a different shape. Of course, we have uh, orb tools, you know, orb tool is the same. The ball of light tool, this one here is going to give you a pink uh, with a bit of white color in it. There's a myriad of different colored and textured uh, uh, ball of light heads. Um, you know, so during these tutorials, we're going to look at a massive array of things. If we think about light painting portraits, which we're going to be doing heaps of again, Here's a scanner. I'm going to show you how these scanners work. I've got a big light here and soft boxes. We're going to be using soft boxes to do them. Um, of course, you cannot talk about light painting without talking about torches. Now, I have a massive array of torches, but one of the things I'm going to show you early on in our light painting is how you can take this, a you know, basically a free here in South Australia, 10 cent drink bottle, uh, a roll of duct tape and a super basic torch. And we're going to turn this into a light painting tool. Uh, and I'm going to use, I don't have it on me, but I'm going to use a $2 torch. So I'm going to show you through these tutorials that there is a whole lot of basic ways to make light painting tools without spending a massive amount of money. Um, you know, when we're lighting scenes, uh, we can use our torches, obviously. There's a whole lot of different ways to do that. Uh, there's different filters that we can put on them. Uh, this one here is, a, is an orange filter. Uh, this is a system from Light Painting Paradise. Um, uh, this is an interesting, here's another filter. Uh, this is this one here is made by Light Painting Brushes. We're going to use these a lot. I'm going to show you how I used one of these on Easter Island to create one of my favorite images. But here's a bit of fun. I went, out, I went down the studio now and I just dug this out. This is the very, very first light painting tool that I ever made. Uh, look at that, and it still works. I'll show you the image on the screen now that this made. But this is made of wood. Uh, I drilled these holes in here. This is 10 years ago. Um, I figured out how to solder. But you know, this thing maybe cost me $10 in total in materials. Uh, we're gonna look at a whole lot of that sort of stuff. But I think it's one of the most fun part of light painting is the light painting tools. You know, there's people like, you know, obviously I sell and manufacture light painting tools. There's a whole lot of people that do, but the light painting community was built on creativity. Figure out how to get a torch on the end of a drink bottle. Go down to your local kids shop and buy a sparkly flicky thing, a lightsaber or any tool or any toy that kids have that light up and light comes out of them. That's a light painting tool. For crying out loud, you can even do light painting with a phone. I'm going to show you how to do that. Creating color and texture using a phone. But if you go into these tutorials realizing that the majority of the tools I'm going to be using are you know, professional tools. But before we start every single tutorial, I'll tell you the tool that we're going to be using, where you can get that tool, or 
more importantly, how you can make something yourself that is uh, relatively cheap. Um, because that's the fun, right? That's what we want to be doing. Um, yeah, I mean, here's another great example. This is, uh, you know, Jason Page at Light Painting Brushes. Really was the first guy online to make a serious light painting tools, you know. What color, what is this going to be? It's green, right? This is a green light painting tool. Uh, you know, so we're going to be, we're going to be going through a whole lot of these tools. But remember, everything that I show you, it doesn't have to be using these really high-end tools. A lot of them I will be using to show you first principles. So I might show you uh, this blade here that is uh, yellow. Uh, well, I'm going to show you how you can make a white clear, or sorry, not white, a clear blade yellow. We use different techniques for that. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's, uh, yeah, light painting tools. Every single tutorial that we do, I'll tell you the tool that we used, where you can buy that tool, the effect that you get from it, how to change it, how to modify it. It's gonna be a massive amount of fun there. I love light painting tools. I love playing with them, I love changing them. I love experimenting with them. It's the mo one of the most fun parts of what we do. So yeah, light painting tools. God, I can't believe this thing still works. I've also still got, I've still got the very first ball of light head that I ever made. We're going to make an image with that, I promise you. When we do orbs, uh, we will uh, create one with the first tool I ever made. Anyway, let's get into it. Light painting tools, massive amount of fun. Um, make your own, uh, buy some tools, whatever you like. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the School of Light. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be adding videos all the time. Head over to the Light Painting Tool Shop at the website. There's a huge array of tools I've made there for you to take on your light painting journey. Peace.